Hey guys, we're back, we're back. Hopefully there aren't any technical difficulties now and hopefully you guys can hear me well and is everything in sync without any lag. We just tested it on a private stream and it worked. Yeah, like, so hopefully... Every time we test, stuff works. And if we go live for real, it doesn't work. So uh, I'm really curious, can you guys hear us now? Without cracks, without lag, without stuff that shouldn't be there. <laughs> yes, great audio. All right. That's awesome to hear. Thank you, Jordi, for the fix. Yeah, we just restarted uh, <laughs> Streamlabs. Who is that? This is Jordi. You don't know who I am. <laughs> I, this... feel, I feel offended. <laughs> <laughs> this is the big boss. Nah, I'm not that big. Look, I'm actually smaller <laughs> than uh, Jill. <laughs> No, if you don't know uh, Cinecom yet, because maybe you have come to Premiere Basics for the first time, that's possible. That's, uh, Cinecom is actually the main channel. This is the second channel. Um, and yeah, you, that's where, where, where I come from. <laughs> <laughs> I was born in Cinecom, <laughs> and he was born out of uh, Premiere Basics. Look yeah. at that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go back to Cinecom All right, now. I'll go back. <laughs> it's good now. Someone is saying it's good now. That that comes down to Jordy. Get get lost. Someone <laughs> says you look like an anime character. <laughs> I love my hair. It's beautiful. Well, actually, the the uh, not, not not the butchers. That are that's something different. The the, the hairdressers. What's it called? <laughs> it's hairdresser in English. Or a barber. The barber. Yeah. yeah, the barbers are closed in Belgium due to the lockdown. Yeah, as you can tell from our yeah. hair. So, uh, yeah, we're going to be stuck with this for uh, quite some time, guys. All right, take care. Enjoy the editing session. And I'm just going to take the stairs down here. There's not really a stair, but anyways, I'm going. Watch out for the carpet, though. Yeah, watch out. We've got a new carpet, guys. <laughs> All right. OK, thank you, Jordi. Bye. OK, hi, welcome, everyone. Sorry we had some technical difficulties once again. But it's a new year, so new opportunities, new projects new live streams. Hopefully this one works well from now on. Hopefully when I open up Premiere Pro, everything will still remain the same and the quality will still be as good as it is right now. Now as you can see, what is he doing? Now as you can see, uh, we've got quite a new setup here. Um, we're not using the laptop anymore because that caused a lot of technical difficulties. So now we're using um, a desktop PC and just two monitors. Um, this monitor is 4K, this is where I'm gonna edit on and open up uh, Premiere Pro. And this is the monitor where I have Streamlabs and the live stream with the chat open. So yeah. Um, now as you guys can see, there's still a, um, there is no, uh, what's it called? Uh, slow chat enabled, so I'm gonna do that real quick. Not because I don't like you guys, but just uh, to prevent uh, everything from spamming. So let me quickly change that, and then we're gonna go straight into Premiere Pro. Uh, where can I find it? Um, oh, here it is. Okay, so we're gonna go in here, and we're gonna um, enable the slow chat. Okay, uh, um, we're gonna do like this. Um, like this, here we go, and save. Great, awesome, okay. Let me go back to the chat real quick. Here we are. Okay guys, how are you all doing? Let me know how was your, your ending of 2020? How was your start of 2021? Let me know in the comment section. Sorry for the slow chat, it's just to prevent everyone from spamming in the chat. Okay, let's have a quick look. Where, where are you guys from? I see someone saying, uh, from India, love from India, love back from Belgium, uh, greetings from Germany, that's, uh, that's our neighbor, your hairstyle is fire, thank you. <laughs> someone says, when uh, someone asked who, who Jordi was, he felt old because he was watching Cinecom since before Lorenzo was part of it, which is I think for about two years now. And we've got a donation from Bellum Videos. Happy New Year! Man, I'm gonna put the donation box back here. Where is it? Is it visible yet? Oh, here it is. And Bellum Videos is straight on top here. Thank you so much, Bellum Videos. Thank you so much, man. Also, by the way, congratulations. You won the second prize in the Basics Challenge. 
Do you guys want to see the results? Do you guys, I mean, I'm not going to show all of them because there were like 25. I made a video and I'm going to post it where I talk a bit about the three winners and about all of the submissions. Not everyone um, specifically because that will be a really long video unless you guys really, really want that, but it's going to be really long. So um, if you guys want me to show the three winners, then I can do that if you guys are up for that. So let's put it in the comments. Put it in the comments if you want to see the three winners for the basics challenge. Also, by the way, congratulations to the two other winners. Um, I forgot their names. Florias or something and Adrian, I think. Um, so yeah, congratulations to all of you guys. But also congratulations to the other 23 or 22 submissions uh, that were sent in because I was so mesmerized by all of the, your work. I mean, you didn't really had much time to finish the entire challenge because yeah, it was just like, I think two weeks probably. And you guys, it's such a great job. So many VFX, so much sound design, voiceovers. Uh, some of those videos were super funny, like hilarious. Others were like really inspiring, had some really good tension, some really good buildups in the story. So yeah, I loved watching each and every one of them and it was super hard for me to choose a top three. Um, so yeah, let's see. Germany is in the house, all right. Nepal, Egypt, Australia. How is it going down under? <laughs> Love from India. All right, you wanna see the three winners? Okay, let me show you the three winners. Let me go to um, the Explorer first. Where is it? Here it is. Uh, let's see. Just gonna download them real quick because they're on the server. So let's see, they're in Premier Basics, um, Basics Challenge, Submissions, Top 3. Let me put them right here on my desktop. Is it going quickly? Five seconds remaining. Okay, okay, okay. Five seconds, here we go. Okay, are you guys ready? I'm gonna quickly change the view. So this is the second monitor on my right side over here. Let's open up the Top 3. Let's close this. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the third place. I think this was from Florias, I think was his name. Um, oh, Fluetas, there he is. You're from Romania, okay, awesome, man. Okay, I'm gonna put on my headset as well because I want to listen to it and monitor the audio in the meantime. So uh, let's see, I'm gonna put on the desktop audio as well. Here we go. Super nice with all the 3D in there. I must that Jedi. Bring him to me. <laughs> I love the color grading. I love the VFX. Nicely done as well with the overlays. And a nice effect on those eyes. Okay. You also got some uh, end credits. Super nice. A little bit on the long side though, because they took quite a while, those uh, end credits, but I really enjoyed this video. Uh, Clips BE, uh, you're um, Nicolas, right? Yeah, of, of course I've seen your video, of course. I've seen every submission. Okay, so let's go to the second one. This one is from Bellum Videos, or uh, I think Alexi is his real name. Um, so Bellum Videos, this one is yours.
So I love the intro here, super Star Wars-y. I mean, it's you can tell that you're a huge Star Wars fan yourself. This, I love this so much, man. This was so creative. Super well done. Also, the sound design, super nice. Same here, super well done. My appendix finds a Jedi and bring him to me, dead or alive. Nice voiceovers. I will, my master. Do not disappoint me. Master. Here, this was super creative because you actually used footage from our other Star Wars video where I fought against um, bounty hunter Janek and you also put yourself in there. Uh, I think this was probably green screened or something. Really nice, really nice. They are coming. I know. Really original as well, very creative. This was very nicely done. The part where he's cut into two pieces, very nice. Come on, master. The other need us. Super nice, super dope. Okay, the first one. This was the first prize winner. Same here, a nice Star Wars intro. Also some 3D in there, nice color grading. I love the sound design, those details. I really love this effect. This was really well done. Good execution. Also the distortion on there. Super nice. Also here chromatic aberration. Distortion. And this was super original. Dope. I love this. Really creative. And that ending though, nice, very nice. Um, yeah, so those were the top three. So yeah, what do you guys think? What do you guys think of those videos? 
I really, really like them. Can you tell that it was really hard for me to pick a top three? I mean, we had 25 submissions, all kind of on the same level as this. So can you imagine how hard it was for me to pick a top three? I mean, in my eyes, everyone is a winner, of course. But there will be more challenges this year. And of course, you will always have a chance to win one of those channel challenges. So yeah, I'm excited for everything coming this year. Tutorials, live streams, challenges, more subscribers. I'm excited. How about you guys? Okay, let's see. Um, I see a lot of compliments coming in. That's real nice. Cena Battle Season 2, haha. <laughs> Better luck next time? Yeah, well, of course, of course. First place was amazing. Yes, it was indeed. It was really nice to done those. It was quite short. Um, for example, the one from Bellum videos was a bit longer, was actually, I think, twice as long. But the execution of the effects of the shorter one was a little bit better, in my opinion. Just a little bit. I mean, it's all in those fine details. And I think that he probably focused on a shorter video, but put put much more effort, effort into those effects to cleaning them up. While I think probably Bellum Videos wanted to create an entire story, which was really cool, especially the beginning with the planet and the spaceship coming in and then a spaceship landing on the ground was really nice. But I think overall the execution of the effects itself was a bit better from the, the guy who did the first um, video or the, the first prize winner. I kind of forgot his name. I think it was AC1K3N. Uh, or Adrian Marton or something. I'm not entirely sure anymore. You love those distortion effects? Well, there was, uh, I think I already made a distortion effect on the channel already uh, in one of the videos. I'm not sure in which one, uh, but if you go over to the playlist with all the effects in there, um, I think it's also linked down below here in the live stream. Then you can find a video where I explain how to create a cool distortion effect. I think it was in the music video um, tutorial, I think. Yeah, where we created like three effects for music videos. So I think that was it. Um, you can also just buy uh, Sapphire or Red Giant, uh, which are two plugins for Adobe Premiere Pro and after Effects, they also have built in um, like distortions and stuff like that, which you can just drag and drop onto your footage and you can customize them to your likings in the effects controls panel. So those are super nice as well, but a bit pricey. Okay, so let's go to Premiere Pro. Where is it? Uh, let's open it up. Music video, here it is. Here we go, Premiere Pro, come on, baby. Awesome. So um, I'm just gonna start from the beginning because last time I was gonna make a music video on this live stream, but um, unfortunately we had a lot of technical difficulties and yeah, I just changed it to a Q&A uh, for the rest of the time remaining. So today we're gonna start off from the beginning and create a music video. So for the ones who weren't here last week, what I have right here is an audio clip, uh, which I got, as you can see, from Artlist, but you can also get them from, uh, you know, Storyblocks Audio or uh, somewhere else, Epidemic Sound, um, what else is there? I'm not entirely sure, Music Bet. Um, but I was just looking for a, um, a cool pop music vibe song, you know? So let's have a listen to this one. Super nice, right? It's like a really catchy vibe. Also, we got a new donation from JKMO200. Well done to all, he says. Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for your donation. And of course, thank you for your compliment towards the three winners. Okay, but let's continue. So we have our audio. Let's drag that in the timeline already. And as you can see, I made a track called Music Track. 
super useful to use because that's where we put all the music. So then we have our rushes. And that's right here. I'm going to sort these by name. OK, good. Um, now, these were shot on a red Gemini 5K, but I also made proxies for when um, <laughs> OMW, um, for when something would go wrong, I can just toggle between the, the proxies to get a more smooth um, edit workflow during this live stream. OK, so let's start. I got my rushes right here. And as you can tell, let's play it. You can also hear the music. That's a, a quick tip that I'm first going to say. Whenever you're shooting a music video and you're shooting on set, play the music. It's easier for the artist to perform the lip sync, but also for yourself when you're going to edit to just lip sync or sync the music from the original take that you shot with the original music track itself. So that's what we're going to do right now. I'm going to drag this entire baby here right into Premiere Pro. Let's put it right here. And I'm going to go and scale it to frame size because it's actually shot in 5K, not in 4K. Then we're going to take both, right click, and select Synchronize. And bam, it's synchronized. Quick and easy, just like that. Let's put that in the beginning of our timeline. Alt click on the audio together with Shift to select both. Delete, they're gone. Or you can just right click, hit unlink, click on the audio and delete it as well. And now this should be synced. So let's find a piece where she's singing. I'm on my way, on my way. I'ma have you on tiptoes, watching my diamond after glow. I know you wanna take me home, I'm on my way. Okay, that's not good. We're gonna go back. I know what's wrong. So we're gonna go back to synchronize, and I forgot to turn something on, and that is this part right here. The audio, of course. Normally it should be on, but I kind of forgot it actually. So that's why he quickly um, synchronized everything to the beginning. So we want the audio to synchronize, of course. Want to go for track number one? Sure. Okay. It's going to take a little bit more time, but of course it's still fast. Bam. Here it is. Just like we wanted to. Drag this to the beginning because eventually I was a little bit. Um, giving it some space here. I was already shooting before I started the video just to get some space in there. Here we go. We can just delete this, delete this. Alt click on here, delete. And now it should be in sync. You on tiptoes, watching my diamond after glow. I know you and this is perfectly in sync. Awesome. Also, if you want to know what this effect is right here, I just took a light bulb and hold it in front of the lens, played around with it a bit, and that's how I got that cool effect. I like it, especially when it's like half the light bulb, half the real shot of her like this. It gives kind of a ghosting or distortion effect. I love it. I'm a huge fan of that. Okay, let's have a quick look at the chat. Does anyone have some questions? How to donate? Well, there is a uh, underneath the chat box, there is a ship show your support for Premiere Basics button. It's like a dollar sign button. You can just click on there and uh, leave a small donation. And you can type something. And of course, it will be highlighted and everyone can see your name on there and look for your channel. OK, so let's continue. We're going to do this for actually every clip in here. So this is going to take a while. I'm gonna, just going to do it real quick. So let's take this one. Don't forget to scale it. Right click, synchronize, audio. Here we go. And you will see that it will go to there. No worries. We're just going to trim this to the beginning. And because this clip and this clip were perfectly synchronized, it means that the beginning of this is always the beginning of this. So we can just drag these to here. Alt click on the audio and delete it. And we can just continue this for as long as needed. So let's do another one. This is actually me. Right click. Let's, where is it? Um, scale the frame size. Here we are. Then, oh. Right click again. Synchronize the audio. Yes, we want that to happen. So let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, a little bit faster, Premiere. Come on. 
Okay, awesome. Let's put that in the beginning as well. And get rid of the audio. Awesome. I'm gonna leave it there. Okay, um, what are we gonna do? I'm first gonna go and show you what it's like to edit raw red footage. So what does that mean? Well, if you're shooting raw, that means that you can alter stuff in the editing program. Now you're thinking, wait, normally I have to put all the stuff inside of my camera and I can't change anything afterwards. That's true, but with a raw camera, you can. So let's go to the effects control, the master, and here you see the red source settings, um, which are the raw settings. As you can see, I can change my ISO, I can change my exposure, my Kelvin, my tint, everything I can change, but I'm just gonna change the, um, let's bring this to here real quick. I'm just gonna change the overall contrast just a little bit. Let's put this to high. I like this. Uh, let's maybe put it to medium. No, that's too much. Let's put it to soft again, okay. I'm just gonna quickly copy these and paste these settings right here and right here as well. Cool, 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 okay, good. Um, let's do some other clips as well. How does it work if some parts repeat? Uh, well, that's a good question. For instance, the same here, um, the part uh, where it says on my way, on my way, it's like four or five times that it comes into the song, so it's five or four times the same part, but that doesn't matter. It actually uh, looks at the entire, pro uh, the entire um, audio clip and it tries to match everything. So if there's like um, a part where it says on my way, on my way, but in front of that is like a different sentence, and then a little bit further more in time, there is another sentence followed by on my way, on my way, he just looks at those sentences as well. And then he sees that it's not the same and that he can easily synchronize those parts. If that's what you mean with that question, of course. So let's synchronize these. Awesome, let's delete this. Let's delete the audio. Put it in the beginning. Uh, I'm gonna delete the audio here as well because we didn't shoot the entire video clip. Uh, let's see, are there any more questions? Where are you from? I'm from Belgium, which is in Europe. Oh, also I need to, uh, voila, but I'm just gonna select them all actually and just control V, yes, that worked. Okay, now, um, what if everything is going slow? For instance, if this, I'm just gonna mute the track for a moment, if this would play like super slow, then you want to create proxies. What are proxies? Proxies are basically altered versions of the videos that you're using in a lower resolution, and Premiere uses those to edit but you can just toggle between those and the higher res that you shot with. So it's this button right here. If you can't find it, you can find it here. And it's right here. You can drag it up to there. And then you can switch to those proxies. And you can see quickly when we're here, you can see that I have applied those red raw changes that I did in the master controls. If I toggle to proxies, these are some low resolution shots. Makes it easier for editing. And we also have another donation from Clips BE. Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much. <laughs> I want to donate, but I'm broke. Psych. Nice, man. Thank you so much for the support. Guys, check him out. He also sent in a video submission for the basics challenge. It was really nice as well. So uh, yeah, have a look at his channel. Where exactly are you from in Belgium? I am from um, Limburg. I'm not sure if you know it. It's uh, like the northern part. Is there any way to edit musical videos besides editing to the beat? Yes, of course. You can also um, follow a certain pattern. So that means like a four count or an eight count or a 16 count. 
you know like that means like you go like one two three four cut one two three four cut one two three four cut one two cut one two cut one two three four cut and that keeps a little bit interesting because if you always cut to the beat exactly then people get a little bit bored they know what's coming do you understand so you don't want them to know what's coming you want them to be a little bit amazed you want them to be like oh i i wasn't expecting a cut right now cool so you know that's what you want that's what you want to achieve uh let's see Can I use Vegas for professional editing? Do you mean Sony Vegas? Yes, of course. Of course, you can use whichever um, whichever uh, program that you like. There is no right or wrong. Uh, okay, let me just synchronize some last shots right here. <laughs> I knew it, Limburg. <laughs> yeah, I haven't. I've just lived here for like a year now, so I'm not a real Limburger, as they say. Okay, so I'm still. Uh, wait, why is this double? Oh wait, this take wasn't really good, so I'm gonna delete this one. I'm gonna take this one. Uh, synchronize. Yes. Oops, that's a little bit too much. Let's do like this. Hop, hop, bam. I'm not sure what this was. Oh, okay. Uh, are there any more lip syncs? I don't think there are. Okay, some of these shots I just took to create um, like a little bit of B-roll. For instance, this is a shot where she walks towards the spotlight and it's a nice shot for the intro. Then we have uh, a little bit of dancing, walking around, and that's a good thing. Whenever you're shooting a music video, make sure that you always have moments where your artist performs. So those are the performance shots, like for instance here where someone is singing and he's lip syncing to the music, but you always want to have some B-roll shots. For instance, when something is wrong, for so when something wasn't perfectly lip synced, or when I don't know, maybe his face or her face was a little bit like, you know, not that nice. You want to put something over that. But if you don't have any B-roll shots, then you can't do nothing with that. So yeah, then you have a hole in your video. So make sure to always shoot some B-roll, um, just, you know, just in case, okay? It could be that you don't use the B-roll, but um, it could also be that you do use it and then, you know, you're happy to have it. Okay, so, um, let's see. You always thought that Cinecom was located in Belgium. It is. It is. Make a channel called Da Vinci Basics. I don't know uh, Da Vinci all too well to make a basics account for it. But uh, I'll try and do my best. Uh, I'm real quickly gonna go into uh, our commands because I saw someone enter a command and it didn't say anything so oh it's not specs by the way that's why it didn't work it's setup you have to put exclamation mark setup like this and then you will get the, uh, the setup that we're using here the PC Jay's film another donation you have really helped thank you again I am starting to see an improvement in my work man those are some really kind words. Those touch me, man. That's so nice to hear. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for your donation, and you're so welcome, man. I enjoy. I really enjoy that you're learning something on this channel. So yeah, thank you. When you use this audio synchronization, does it go correctly with lip movements? It all depends, of course. When you're playing music during your shoot, 
it's your actor or your artist who has to perform. So if he does it wrong, like uh, if the music is like on my way, on my way, and he goes like, then it will never be perfectly lip sync. But if he really does the words, I'm on my way with his lips, then yeah, you can perfectly sing that. Okay, let's have a look real quick at the comment section, then I'm gonna continue. So I'm first gonna save this. Bam, it's saved. I'm also gonna toggle the proxies just in case. Okay, uh, let's go to the talking part right here. Let's see. Greetings from Czech Republic. Greetings from Belgium, my man. Okay, let's see. I want to become a video editor. Nice, just do it, man. Try to learn as much as possible and go for it. Oh, Adrian Martin, you're here. Do I need to already have a Skillshare account to get the rewards? No, man. We're currently uh, talking with Skillshare, so you probably will get an email tomorrow. Um, maybe later today, but probably tomorrow with your price. Same thing goes for Bellum videos, of course. And also, Adrian, we have to schedule a meeting together because you're gonna go uh, on a one-on-one -on -one, uh, Skype session or video chat session with me. So prepare for that, my man. Let's see. Yeah, so everyone is using the setup now to see what I'm using. Um, I u Hi, I used the transition in my recent video by learning a transition from your video. Thanks for that. Can you give me a shout out to see my recent video? Well, uh, thank you so much, Mr. Pegasus. Here's the shout out um, for using that transition. I hope you really liked it. So yeah. Uh, well, I, well, I will have a go and have a look at the, at that channel of yours with that video on it, uh, but not now. A6400 plus 16 to 50 millimeter Weeble S. What do you think about that? I think we have all of that laying around here. I like it. Um, it's not the best, but it's really good. So yeah, I can recommend that. Hi, what to do if Premiere fails to load? That's just Premiere, my man. Premiere is full of crashes. Um, what do you mean exactly? Like when you want to open it or when you're trying to do something like rendering or exporting? Because that can be a lot. Is After Effects good for video editing? No! You should video edit inside of Premiere Pro or any other software and do compositing and special effects in After Effects. Can you edit a film? Yes, I can. <laughs> um... I want to be a video editor. It doesn't matter which school you go to. No, of course not. If you want to learn how to do it, you can always go on Skillshare or Udemy or uh, just YouTube because that's free, of course. And you can just learn how to become one. Um, if you really want to go to film school, then you can go to film school. What are you using to live stream Premiere? I keep having issues. Well, I'm using Streamlabs OBS. That's uh, on this monitor right here. And on that monitor is Premiere and I'm just recording that screen with Streamlabs. Is it slow modus? Yes, slow modus is on. Sorry for that. Do a tutorial on Skillshare by film editing. Do you mean like a feature film? Because we already have a lots of uh, classes on uh, Skillshare about video editing. Thanks for the shout out. You're welcome, my man. You're amazing. Thank you. You too. You too. Thanks for watching, of course. Okay, guys, let's uh, quickly head back to Premiere Pro and start finishing our music video. Oh, wait, one last question. How do I start my career in the filmmaking line? What exactly do you want to do in the filmmaking business? You want to be a camera guy? Do you want to edit? Do you want to make special effects? Do you want to make motion graphics? Um, what else is there? Do you want to do production, pre-production? Do you want to go and be a director? Um, do you want to be like, I don't know, the catering? <laughs> There's like so many things that you can do on a film set. So what exactly do you want to do? Okay, I'm gonna answer. Um... Some of the questions later. <laughs> Are you Belgian? Yes, I'm Belgian. Okay. Guys, keep them questions coming. I'm gonna answer them later on. I'm quickly gonna go into Premiere first and we're gonna edit that music video. Okay, so let's see. I'm gonna uh, 
lower the volume here just a moment because it's really loud in my ears. That's better. Okay, I'm gonna start off and disable these tracks for a moment, except the first one. And we're gonna enlarge this right here, yes. Okay, so I wanted the video to start actually with this shot right here. So let's have a look at this. Okay, let's have a look what... Mm. Okay, I have an idea with this. Let's go scale to frame size. And we're actually gonna start and go to the effect controls, motion. And we're gonna start at around 130, I think. Yeah, let's do that. Let's put a, a keyframe on there. Let's go a bit further in time. And let's go to 100. Right click, ease out, right click, ease in. Let's see. Yes, and this creates kind of a parallax because I was actually moving forward with a dolly with kind of a wide angle on 5K footage. And we're actually now, um, or was I going backward? I'm not entirely sure. Maybe I should do it opposite. Yes, it should be opposite. I was going forward with my camera, so I should go backward. Hmm. Yeah, I like this. Okay, but I want to place a cut here. And... I'm actually gonna cut this. Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. I see it. We have some shots here as well. Those were way better. Let's have a look at them. Yes, I'm gonna go for these ones. Look at that slow motion. Awesome. Now she's gonna turn and bam. Okay, I want that shot. I want that shot. Yes. Uh, same thing here. Let's scale the frame size. We're gonna do exactly the same as we just did. So, wait, we're going forward, so we should go backward, okay. So let's place a keyframe, another keyframe. This one can ease out, this one can ease in. And what are we gonna do? We're gonna start with the zoom and then... Yeah, I like this a lot. The only thing I need is to change the position. So this is good because that's what 100%, but this should be a little bit more centered. A little bit more headspace and I think that should be it. Okay, that's nice. Now here, we're gonna make a speed ramp. So I'm first gonna nest this. Uh, let's hit nest. We're gonna do intro shot speed ramp. Just so we know what the shot is. So let's hit okay. I'm gonna open this by holding alt and scrolling my mouse wheel. Right click on the effects button, timer mapping speed. I'm gonna place a keyframe here. Go a bit further in time here as well. Let's raise this a bit to maybe around 200. Let's ramp that a bit. Okay, let's have a look. Okay, now I actually also want to make a quick rotation. around this maybe, let's zoom in for a bit. Nice, and that's also quite on the beat here. 
and this part should be like really slow. So let's drag that down just a bit. Nice. And this is the part where our beat actually starts. So let's place a marker there, like M on the keyboard. Here is the marker. I'm gonna call this beginning of the beat. Okay. Cut. This is our intro. Nice. Okay, so uh, as you can hear, we have quite a beat here, like bum 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 bum. You know, so we're gonna look for some beats in there that we can place cuts to. I see one right here, so let's hit M. M. Same here. Um, those are already one, two, three, four shots that we need. Now we can of course go through these ones, but I also have some extras here. Let's see what else do we have. Okay, I'm gonna take this one, this is nice. I'm gonna place that here. Right click, scale the frame size. Uh, end it here. O -M -W. O -M okay, now let's see what we have here. Mm, let's place a ginormous cut right here, but I'm gonna first gonna lock this one because I don't want to place any cuts in my audio track. I don't want to mess things up over there. That should be just one solid and clean track. Massive cut, so I hit shift with the razor. I'm gonna go bam, bam, bam. And now I can just see what would be cool. Maybe this right here to see a guy and then we're gonna cut to her. Okay, so we're gonna delete these and then three here and then we have this. Nice. Now this is also kind of a jump cut. We were standing on the exact same position, so that's a nice way to cut. Same thing with the upper layers here. Uh, as you can see, we can place a nice cut here. Our, our eye level is kind of the same. It's not entirely perfect, but it's kind of the same. So yeah, this is looking real nice already. What I am gonna do is, um, because I'm not sure if we can finish this in time today, I'm gonna place an adjustment layer, which I have right here. On top, let's say, let's do a quick color to grade to create a little bit more of a stylistic touch to it. So let's go over to our Lumetri control or Lumetri color. Um, let's go over to the color wheels, put some teal in those shadows, drag those shadows down. Not too much, and a little bit of warmth into those highlights. Something like this. Okay, that's looking real cool. Let's have a before and after look. Nice. 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 Okay, awesome. Close this. This is just a regular, quick, easy look that we can give to our entire um, clip already, our entire music video. Now, of course, what we also want to add, which I don't have right now, which I just realized, is extra elements, like for instance, flares, overlays, light leaks, stuff like that. I'm gonna quickly go on Storyblocks and just download one real quick. Oh, I need to log in. Um, let's see if I know the login. Is it correct? It is correct. Okay, I'm gonna go for and search for a light leak. Let's see if they have one. Mm. 
yes. Okay, what color do we want? Of course, we can recolor it in Premiere Pro. So I'm just going to go for a nice one. This one looks cool. Okay, I'm just going to take this one. I'm going to download it. Uh, this is good. Let's download. Hmm. Apparently, we have to restart our subscription. Jordy, if you're watching, restart our subscription, please. I need that light leak. <laughs> In the meanwhile, I'm going to uh, see if I can just find another one real quick. Otherwise, no, I'm just going to. Mm -hmm. No, apparently not. OK, no problem. Let's save this bad boy. Let's go to over to the questions. Guys, by the way, I'm sorry for my hair. It has its life of its own. Uh, the barbers are closed in Belgium due to the coronavirus. So, uh, yeah, this is the result of that. So I'm sorry for that. <laughs> okay. Um, wow, wait, let's go back, 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 back. Where were we? Okay. Someone is watching this live stream between his classes. Super nice. <laughs> How you become a pro editor in Premiere, especially in color grading? Lots of training, just lots of video editing. Um, just create, start creating, don't stop, just keep on going. That's what I can tell about that. Where can we get cinematic music for films for free? I'm not sure that you will get that for free anywhere. But I know some sites where you can get it for a, sh a small price. So those are some stock sites, music libraries. What film industry is best to work with? Anything you like. If you like video editing, you shouldn't be a director, of course. If you like doing the pre-production and arranging everything, then you shouldn't do video editing, you know? So it all depends on what you like. Jill, ahem, ahem, is Cinecom located in Limburg? Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. Who knows? Sweden is back. Oh, Gunnar from Sweden. Yes, a feature film from beginning to end. Um, I can edit that in, yeah, technically I can. I haven't done it yet. I have edited short films, but not a feature film. So in theory, I can do that. As a video editor, you should be able to do that, but um, I have no experience with that. Um, and to make that an entire class on Skillshare is quite difficult as well. Are you Belgian? Yes, I am. Any tips on editing a reality TV show? Helping to edit one now. Uh, it all depends on what it's like. If it's kind of a, a funny reality TV show, then try to go for humoristic moments. Um, if it's more like a, a romantic or dramatic TV show, then try to find moments that are really touching where there's a lot of emotion in there and always try to, you know, keep it keep nice, keep it dynamic. Don't make things wait too long because that gets boring real quick. I'm going to take a sip of my water real quick. Sorry, guys. Interesting question. How can I use a 60 fr frame per second clip in a 24, 24 frame per second timeline with a correct limp sync? lip sync with relation to audio. We've actually made a video on that on the Cinecom channel. Um, but basically what you want to do is make sure that the 60 frame per second clip has audio attached to it. And normally when you put that into a 24 per frame, 24 frames per second timeline, it shouldn't be, uh, it shouldn't automatically go into slow motion. It should just play as the same speed as a 20, as the one with 24s, but it has more information per second per frame. So that means that for a dead moment, I call it a dead moment. It's just a moment where there isn't any lip syncing. Like for instance, uh, where there's like a, a part of the beat just coming through to the music. That's the moment where you can just use a speed ramp because you have 60 frames per second. So you can easily make nice transitions with that. So yeah, that's how you can you do that. Premiere or Da Vinci? Um, tough question. I like the stability of Da Vinci, uh, but I like the accessibility of Premiere because you have dynamic links to Audition, Premiere, 
um, uh, Photoshop, I mean, um, After Effects, all of that. So yeah. I want to become a video editor. Just go for it, man. Just start creating, start learning. and You can become a great video editor. I need to fix the sound. I don't read lips so good. What do you mean? What sound? What, what should be fixed? From Somalia. I'm awesome, man. Awesome. Never been there. After Effects gang. Hi, bro. Say hi to me. Hi, Solio BG. Can you make a join button? Well, it's coming soon. We're still figuring uh, some stuff out because we, if you join our channel, you should get something in return. So we're still f trying to figure out what we can always provide to you on a monthly basis. But yes, there will be a join button soon. It's nice to see a professional at work. Thanks, man. Thanks. <laughs> your girlfriend is bogus. <laughs> when will you post again on your Instagram? Um, probably this week. Uh, there was some snow in Belgium and I took some photos there. So I think I'm going to post these on my Instagram page. The music is amazing. <laughs> OMW. <laughs> awesome. Sure. <laughs> Are you from Brussels? Oh no, you were from uh, Vlaams Brabant, I think. You're from Leuven. All right, let's see. Can you make a dedicated video about live streaming? What, what exactly do you mean with that? What do you want to learn about live streaming? What is the proper meaning of a creative director? Uh, I'm not entirely sure actually, but I think he is the one who decides. Um, I mean, it's always kind of a bit vague to me, but I was on set a couple of weeks ago when I wasn't able to live stream, remember guys? And I was on set for Jeep and there was a creative director there. Basically, he didn't really look at the performance of the people in the shot. He was always looking at smaller details. Like for instance, was the car well lit? Was um, was everything related to the car good in that shot? You know? And then there was another director who was directing the people on there. So there were like dancers and um, I don't know what to call it in English, but there are like people walking on those giant sticks, you know? Um, I'm not sure what it is in English, but the second director was directing those people and the creative director was looking at everything else. So the entire setup, the scene, um, was the car okay? Was it good enough? Um, so that was, he, that was his role in that, um, in that project. Um, Why don't you edit in Sony Vegas? Because then I can easily just uh, n link to After Effects or something else. We have another donation also from Akshay Krishna. Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much. How are you capturing select comments to the overlay in OBS? Um, what exactly do you mean? It's just a feature inside OBS actually. I think YouTube should delete the dislike button for your videos. Man, that's super sweet. Thank you so much, man. We actually don't get a lot of dislikes, which I really like. Um, I have a feeling that the community on this channel is like really nice, really positive. Uh, also with the basics challenge, you guys were complimenting each other and I really like to see that. I mean, that's super inspiring for me as well because if, we, if there would be like a lot of hate comments everywhere, it would be a little bit, you know, not that nice. But because you guys are all so positive and there are so much positive vibes on the channel, I really love doing what I do here for you guys. I want to do editing and compositing. So which line? Well, um, that's more like the editor part, right? So you should try to focus on stuff where you can be the editor or the effect supervisor, for example, or the compositor. Um, 
just try to build up a portfolio. It can be like your own projects, maybe projects for friends or families, and then you can go to companies and tell them like, hey guys, this is my portfolio. What do you guys think? I'm an editor, I'm a compositor. Can I work for you guys? Do you have jobs for me maybe? That way you can get into the business. Do you have any experience with editing with a mobile? No, I have my phone right here. I have Premiere, Premiere Rush on there, I think. Um, but I've actually never used it. Um, so no, no, I have no experience with that. Let's see. Um, I'm telling about film editing, like where to cut for film. Do a Skillshare class on that. I'll tell Jordy because Jordy is the one who makes all the Skillshare classes, so I'll tell him. Uh, wow, there's so many comments. It just keeps on coming. Okay, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Where was I? Where was I? Mm. How is Jenik and Lorenzo doing their 3D? Yeah, they're currently working on something for you guys this week. Today we have more people in live classes. My computer had some weird settings and it didn't have sound in the speakers, but to one of the screens. Yeah, that can happen sometimes, it's super weird. But yeah, sometimes it just happens. I go to school in Brussels, ha, <laughs> I thought so. Is there any unlink shortcut in Premiere Pro? I think it is Control L. I'm not entirely sure. It could be that it's my own um, short key, but I think the default is Control L. Wait, didn't we did this already? Yes, because yes, last last nice last live stream last week. But um, unfortunately, there were lots of technical difficulties, so that's why we're doing it again. Those cre creative directors are the ones that put Easter eggs in the videos. Correct, indeed. I like to do it as well. Stilt walkers, okay, that's how you call them. You're bogos, <laughs> thanks man. Uh, let's see, let's see. <laughs> Clips BE, thanks man for the plugs on my Instagram and YouTube. <laughs> thanks man. Okay, let's just continue because there are so many questions coming in. I'm gonna try to answer those while I'm editing. I think that will be a, a nice combo. So let's go back to Premiere Pro. Ba -da 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 -da. Okay, let's go. Um, nice hair, thank you. Okay. <laughs> let's go back to our rushes uh, real quick. And let's have a look at what we have so far. So I want the part where I'm saying this one. And I'm just gonna cut it in the middle and hopefully the lip sync will be like, mm, not that good because it's like to you. So let's see. Let's take mm, this part right here. Okay. And these are the ones that I want to get rid of. Let's see. So when you're editing like this, it's always like trying to figure out which track you want to use and which part. Uh, let's see. Okay, so here I want to have both me and my girlfriend in the shot at the same time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna 
move this over to the side. And where are my effects? Window effects. Here we have them. I want to go for the crop effect, put it on there, take the right side, or I can just click on it and then just go like this. Okay. Take the lower track, drag it to there. Maybe a little bit forward. Okay. Take the upper one around here. And I want to feather this a bit. So let's go for maybe like 50. Okay, this is nice already. Let's save this. Uh, let's see. Can you make a video of effects for free? All of our tutorials are for free, man. What time is it there? It's currently 4.26 in the afternoon. Which microphone are you using? We're using a... I think an Audio-Technica mic, but I'm not sure which one. We have another donation from Bullet Crew from Sweden. Hi from Sweden. Hi from Belgium, Bullet Crew. Thank you so much. Love your content on both channels. Thank you so much, man. When is the next Cinecom video coming out? I'm not sure if I can spoil that, but it's on Friday. <laughs> uh... What is the cut? Uh, I'm using the C for the eraser tool, but you can also just add uh, Control K for to place an edit. Um, but when I'm doing stuff like this, I want to use the razor, especially when I'm working with markers. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's working. Control L. Okay, so to unlink, it's just a shortcut. Control L. Oh, I'm W. I'm on my way to you. <laughs> Good question here. Hey, man, what do you recommend? Using quick cuts versus holding onto a shot? It all depends. Uh, for instance, here, I'm holding onto the shot real long because I really like it and it has a lot of dynamic in it, uh, dyna dynamism in it. It's really dynamic. I love the fact that, uh, you know, I can play around with some speed ramps to play around with that shirt or dress or whatever you want to call it. But then the beat comes in. Dum dum da dum dum. We have not heard that beat before, so that's where I want to like go real fast, show a lot a lot of stuff so that people get attracted to it and want to keep watching and then I can go over and make it a little bit slower, then I can go faster and faster again. So that's what I'm doing right here as well. Why don't editors render as you go? I noticed it saves me on saves on no I noticed it saves me on render times. Yeah, I know man. This should be rendered actually, this red part right here. But uh yeah. I think um if if the program itself should render each time that you're playing it, everything will go really slow or your computer will go slow or it would just be really heavy for your computer, I think. So, uh, but yeah, you're correct. It goes way faster when you're trying to export it. Uh, please suggest some good film schools. I only know the ones in Belgium. Sorry, man. You're so fast. Oh, thank you. Uh, I, I hope that's a good thing. If I'm going too fast, you just have to tell me, guys. Um, just arrived. What have you missed? Uh, what, have you, what have you missed? We have synced the audio. We've made uh, a little bit of cuts already. Uh, we've actually speed ramped this shot right here. We've did a little bit of color grading, not too much. We've played around with some red raw settings. We've made some some proxies. Uh, we're cutting to the beat right now and making a cool edit. So you haven't missed that much, but yeah, maybe just a bit. Also a lot of questions, Q&A, uh, yeah. YouTube featured you in a recommendations glad they did awesome to hear man awesome to hear welcome welcome 
please give some tips for roto brushing and after effects we don't do after effects on this channel but you can go over to cinecom where we made an entire tutorial about the roto brush and after effects can you put like lyrics on screen on the video good idea good idea it's actually i have the lyrics i have the lyrics of this song uh they're not here but let me just grab them real quick where are they uh i had the lyrics somewhere okay let's just a moment guys i'm gonna have it in a, in a real quick okay uh accept it was on my way w yes I have them right here on the screen, so I can actually go and make some lyrical versions as well. Nice idea. Okay, uh, let's see. Any questions? I have a new mission. After the corona pandemic, I will search and find the Cinecom office. I will analyze every video of Cinecom and will look to the background to spot some important details. Good luck with that, my man. <laughs> you can also just send an email to Jordi and ask if you can come over. Um, sometimes he allows that to people. Not always though, but it all depends on how busy we are. See you soon, Clips VE. Goodbye, my man. Uh, how long do you plan to stay alive for? Uh, not that long anymore. But I will try and finish this. Um, once the live stream is done, but maybe like 15 more minutes, not too long. Okay, let's see. We're gonna go for uh, a little bit of a, a, a lyrical version as well, because now we have cut to the beats. Maybe like here, this part right here, and I can take the... Okay, let's play a graphic layer on there and this says watch me walk away so let's open up the essential graphics panel edit we'll take this double click on it watch me I want to have like a really big font maybe something like this for example Okay, let's put it in the middle of our screen. Let's make it yellow or something. I think I kind of like that. So like bright yellow, for instance. Um, what are we gonna do with it? Let's also reposition the, where is it? Uh, anchor point. Wait, why is it changing this part? Hmm. Oh, here it is. Yes, there it is. So our anchor point is in the middle now. Awesome. And normally, if we can rotate it now, it will go around that part. Kinda, not entirely. Well, wait, it's the wrong one, I think. This one is the one I need. Yes, okay. Uh, so what's the deal here? So the me is coming afterward. Okay, so I'm gonna duplicate this actually, Control V, and we're gonna go over to our crop effect. And this is gonna be the me. Oh, actually, I'm gonna put those together and put the crop effect on here as well. Put these together, and this should be watch. Okay, so this one should come in first, and then the me should come in. Let's place a marker. The me is coming here. Okay, so um, group one is me. That's this one right here. Uh, that should come in later. We're gonna use a transform effect for that. Transform.
like this. Let's move it. Let's give it some motion blur, like this. Position, like one, two, three, maybe. Let's fit a little bit more here. He's out. He's in. And normally, this should be kind of in the middle of our movement. Yes. Awesome. Now, the same thing goes for the watch. Um, so another transform effect in there. Let's add motion blur. Um, maybe that can fly from above. Let's change it to this. To here, it should come in, ease in, and ease out. Nice. Okay, uh, I want to take this text actually and place it in the middle. Maybe I want to enlarge it even more. And change its position to somewhere over here. But we're going to have to change the crop value as well. Like Mm, like here. Oh, but of course we made it bigger, so we're going to have to change the beginning value here. Like this. Awesome, right? Cool. Let's head back to the questions for, for a real moment, real quickly. Um, What is the adjustment layer doing? It's a little bit of a color grade, not too much, just to set a, a specific look. Um, don't use black bars, just set 1920x822. Uh, you, you can do that as well. It creates a cinemascope. It's also a really useful um, tip. Will you comment on the other videos of the channel? Uh, I'm not entirely sure, but if you really have some specific questions about your video, you can always send me an email, of course. How is it going for the Cinecom short film? I have no idea, actually. I wasn't part of that, so I can't really tell much about that. Yellow text does, me rem does remind me of karaoke, OMW. <laughs> yes, it does. Oh, Julie Hackerman set with an epic voice. It's looking show fire. Thanks, man. Awesome. Uh, do you want some film school recommendations in Belgium? Well, there is uh, Narafi, but it's called Luca School of Arts now. You also have Ritz, which is also in Brussels. What else do we have? Kask, I think, if that still exists. It's in Ghent. Um, I think those are one of the some of the best ones in Belgium, actually, yeah. That is awesome, thanks. How to edit gaming montages? Actually, I have no idea. I have never uh, edited a gaming montage, but I would just highlight the best moments of that gaming experience. For instance, uh, it all depends on your, on your um, game, of course, but if you're playing a shooter, try to find either parts where you like um, shot a lot of people in a cool way or quick scoped somebody, or maybe did a 360 no scope, or the exact opposite, where you'd like drastically fail, like you were walking around, you got shot in the head, you spawned, you got shot, you got spawned, you got shot, like something that you were like really raging off, like where you were like, ah, why is this happening to me? You know, stuff like that. It's always funnier, and also try to keep it dynamic, also as well. I am watching from my bed. <laughs> nice, man. Nice. Don't fall asleep, though. I like how the words smash together, echoing the vocals facing each other. Intentional or not. Yes, it is intentional. So, you know, don't try to keep the the text or the lyrics too um, 
plain like you know um don't don't get too boring with it like for instance here one comes from above the other one comes from the right one and you mean i mean you can also make them like interact with each other like that they're touching each other and the one like pushes the other away that could have that we could do that as well but um just create some dynamism because if they see this they're expecting another word coming from here that is the same size but in reality i'm coming from the right side and i'm actually bigger so watch me it's always also a highlighted it's me watch me not watch him not watch her not watch that dog watch me okay so always try to you know do something special with your lyrics in the video if you're making lyrical videos of course um let's see what is your email hello at premierbasics.net How do you make text shake? Well, <laughs> good question actually. Um, if, do you mean like the shake that is happening here? It's just motion blur. But if you mean like a real shake, stay tuned for Wednesday because I'm gonna create some camera shakes for you guys. Did I actually just spoil that? Stupid. No, but uh, yeah. Spoiler alert, now you know what the tutorial of Wednesday is gonna be about. Um. I made I mailed you my week my, uh, my work a week ago yeah then I've probably seen it um, if you really want some feedback to it just send me another email ask for the feedback and I will give it to you please make one more video on a b-roll should I make a video on how to edit b-roll like to make a super cool epic b-roll challenge video should I do that should I make a tutorial about that let me know guys Or that ME can hit watch and change colors. Super original idea. You're you're creative, man. You're creative. So you mean like it comes in, it touches the watch, and then it changes, like for instance, to blue. Yeah, let's try that. I'm not sure if I can animate the colors, but we can play around with that, of course. Um, so I'm looking for the frame. It's this one, maybe. Let's see. Can we animate the colors? No, but what we can do is we can copy and paste it. Oh, that's the, wait, is that the, yeah, that's the right one. Okay, and we're gonna change this to, for instance, this color. Yeah, let's take this one. And the opacity should be 100, but here it should be zero. Wait, I said zero. So, ease out, ease in. It's a really short one, but let's see what it gives. Mm, oh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna have to copy these. Make this a separate group above this one. I'm gonna delete the part here. This is the blue one, right? Probably. Let's see. Let's have a look. Is this the yellow one? Why isn't it coming in? Where is the movement? Oh, wait. Okay, I'm gonna go Control Z for a moment. Okay, so that's the one. Command C, Control V. Let's make you a group. Let's put you here. And you should be blue. 
I'm blue, da ba dee da ba da, da ba dee da ba da, da ba dee da ba da. And you should be zero here. Let's see. Yes, here we are. Or do you want to change like the watch into blue? Same principle actually, but. Let's see. Couldn't you just use hue effect? Yeah, of course. Uh, wait, is it called hue? I know which effect you mean, but is it called hue? I'm not entirely sure. Isn't it color something? I don't know all the effects exactly, but change to color. I think it's this one. But yeah, this is a this is another way, of course, and it's it's all in here. So you know, you just you're not stacking extra um, effects on there. You're just using the same ones, which aren't really uh, heavy effects. So yeah. Let's see. Um, what's impressive is how in it was for you to do all that with the text on the fly through adding lyrics was recommended to you by a viewer. I guess that's what being a profession is all about. Thanks, man. That's a really nice compliment. Um, yeah, of course. Um, I mean, if you guys have any suggestions, I'll just try and do it. Like, for instance, changing the color here. I actually kind of like these colors the, the, together. Like, I don't know, creates a vibe. Let's see. I already want to cut here. Okay, let's see what we have so far. Let's save it first. Let's close this one, enlarge everything just a bit. And let's see. This is really nice already. I'm loving this. We're only 21 seconds into this video and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 different shots. I mean, not different shots, but like cuts. Um, plus our lyrics right here. So um, that's, that's dynamism, you know? That's a dynamic edit. Um, we can even go further and create like 40 cuts in those 20 seconds. But that would be like a really fast paced cut. Um, let's see. I'm gonna answer you guys' questions for like two more minutes and then we're gonna wrap this up. I'm gonna finish this um, on my own time. But I hope you guys liked what we made so far in those 20 seconds that we have here. We already did a lot here actually, but uh, if you guys have any questions related to music videos or to editing music videos, or just any questions in general about Premiere Pro or just video making, then let me know in the comment section. Uh, where were we? How often are you wearing masks? Um, it all depends. Uh, we all, are kind of like, uh, what do you call it? Like people that don't go out a lot, like uh, we always stay at home, especially now during the coronavirus, we never go anywhere um, where there's a lot of people. So we always wear masks when we like go to the store, for example, but we don't visit friends. We stay at home with our girlfriends. And yeah, that way we are kind of sure that we're safe. So we're, also trying to do that here as well. Now, if someone, for example, comes in contact with someone that has, I don't know, uh, 
a chance of being positive for corona. And then we always wear masks. We try to double the distance that we already have so far. And yeah, we, we always try to keep it super safe here, always. Yeah, do a B-roll challenge. Sure, B-roll challenge with our clips that we post or send to you. That would actually be a cool challenge for a live stream. Hmm. Okay. That's a good idea. I'm gonna remember that. Jill, can you show us the three videos that won the challenge? I already did this in the beginning of the live stream. So when I upload this on YouTube, you can just go over to the beginning and look at it over there. Cinecom is not posting videos. Why is that? Well, they are. They just took a break for like two weeks because they really deserved a break. They were like super tired from all of the hard work that they put in all of the videos last year. So they took a two week break. Now they're all back and they're going to create some super cool videos for you guys. So definitely stay tuned for that. Did you mean color balance? Yeah, I think I probably did. Let's see, uh, wow. Um, pastels matching the 90s music that is echoing a 70s vibe. My man, you have a taste. Make a video on the famous cuts used in Hollywood movies. I think we already have that on the Cinecom channel. The lip sync feels a bit shaky when you're facing each other. You don't match each other. Yeah, that could be. I mean, I didn't know the lyrics at all. Uh, she did. I didn't. So I was just like trying to um, keep up with the lyrics and with the words, even though I didn't know them at all or knew them at all. And it's super dope. Thanks, man. Thanks. But do your girlfriends don't go out often? No, they're, they're trying to keeping it safe at the moment. Um, when Corona is over, we're, we're all going out back to, you know, friends and family and w w what else there is to go out to, like, I don't know, music theaters. Uh, music theaters? Yeah. <laughs> um, movie theaters, that's what I mean. Movie, movie theaters, concerts, all of that, but yeah, since that's all closed at the moment, we don't go out. We just stay at home. We go out for a walk, of course, but that's all safe. That's in, in nature, so yeah. <laughs> Shout out to my boy. I see what you did there, man. I see what you did there. <laughs> Where did you study? Where did you study everything? Okay, so um, I first went to film school. No, yeah, I kind of did a film kind of study when I was in high school. But then later on, I went to film school, and um, that's the same film school where Jordi went to. He finished it. I didn't. Um, I quit after two years. Then I went to another school where I learned more about graphic design and, you know, After Effects, um, coding, web coding. That's where I met Lorenzo. He was in the same class as me for two years. Once again, I I quit because I started my own company and he um, finished it. And then later on, he went over to Cinecom where he did his internship. That's why he started here. And I just had my own company. I was always creating videos and photo content for other people. And then I came across Cinecom, started working here. And yeah, now I'm combining both. So that's my story so far. Movie theaters and musical shows. That's what I meant. Thanks, man. <laughs> Great job spreading a COVID safety message to your own example. Can't make art or money if you are sick or gone. That's true, my man. We all have to keep it safe. Of course, you have to keep it humane. So, of course, I still want to visit my girlfriend or see her and, you know, go for a walk in the forest or whichever part of nature there is near us. Um, but we don't go out to friends and party or whatever. Um, that's super irresponsible at the moment. Um, yeah, I have a good thing that my 
friends also don't do that so they're all safe as well i'm happy for them and we often do like a skype session or we game together um with discord or you know that's how we do it you're a big businessman <laughs> thanks man thanks okay guys i think uh, i'm gonna quit the live stream here um yeah, it's been fun. You guys had some really good questions. Uh, we also got a lot of viewers, which was real nice. We got some awesome donations, which you can check right up here on my right side. Um, so yeah, thank you all for watching. Oh wait, one last question. Two more questions. How long did it take you to learn Premiere? A long time. Uh, because in the beginning, I didn't know what I was doing. What is your favorite music video? Ah, uh, tough question, tough question. I think, um, say something from Justin Timberlake. It's a one shot. It's a one shot video through an entire building with lots of people in there. I think I love that one. I just, that's my favorite so far. The one taker. Uh, okay, I'm gonna wrap it up guys. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for the support. I hope to see you all on the tutorial on Wednesday and of course in our next live stream next Monday. I hope you enjoyed the music video editing. I hope you enjoyed all of the questions that I've answered. And I'll see you guys next week. Enjoy your new year, of course. Stay creative. That should be the last sentence. Whatever. <laughs> okay, guys, so enjoy your new year. Start creating, do some projects, start shooting everything there is to shoot, edit that stuff, send it over to me if you want to have some feedback. And of course, now is the right moment to say it, stay creative. Back to the outro.